Micah's manners. Today you might notice I'm dressed up a little bit, aren't I? Well, that's because today we're doing something really fun. We're having a tea party. Hooray! Have you ever had a tea party before? I actually love throwing tea parties, but I also get invited to tea parties and it's really important to know all the things that you need to have on the table and also what to do with them. So today I'm going to show you what parts of the tea party you might have at home or at a friend's house. And I'm also going to introduce you to a very special guest. And she is going to teach you a little bit about tea parties. Her name is Miss Diana, and we call her Granny Manners. And she teaches manners just like me, only she lives way across the other side of the world. She lives in a place called England. Thank you, Micah. Well, it's so exciting to join you in this virtual tea party. It's the first time I've ever had tea virtually before, but it's really, really nice. Okay, let's get started. Tea is a very nice way of seeing friends and what we call entertaining. So the first thing to do, if you're going to have a tea party at your house, is welcome your friends at the door when they arrive. And you welcome them with a smile and say, how nice to see you. Because if you're very grumpy or a bit shy, then it doesn't make them feel very welcome, I don't think. Now, if you're having a party and not everybody knows each other, then you have to introduce them. So you'd say something like, Cindy, this is Peter. Peter, this is Cindy. Now, you might just have a pretend tea party and have dolls or teddy bears or toys as your guests, or you might have real guests. So if you have three dolls or you have three friends, then you want to have three teacups and then one for yourself. So four. Now, the easy part is that you just really need one teapot. Now, the teapot is where the tea goes in. Sometimes you might have lemonade or just water or, you know, juice. If you want to have a pretend tea party, you might not have anything at all in the teapot, and that's okay, too. But there's an actual way that you pour the tea into the cups. Now, this is a teapot. Have you ever seen one of these before? The lid comes off and the tea goes inside the teapot. And when you pour, you hold it by the handle and you put your two fingers right up there, the tippy tippy top, and you pour the tea out just like that. You have to do it nice and slowly to make sure that the tea doesn't go over the cup and fill too high. The next thing I'll show you is what we call a teacup. And sometimes it comes with a saucer. A saucer is just a little plate that it rests on, just like that. So each person should have a teacup, and if you have them, a saucer as well. When you're holding your teacup, you just hold it by what's called the handle. You can just pinch your fingers like that, very easy. Or if you want, whatever you can do to hold the teacup properly, but you just wanna make sure you're holding it by the handle. And then we drink, just like that. I'm drinking imaginary tea today. Mm, delicious. Now, maybe it's you that's pouring tea for your friends, and maybe you want to take turns and let your friends pour from the teapot into the teacups. The important part is that everybody has tea because it's very important to share your tea and everything that goes a part of your tea party. But what are you going to eat? Well, the traditional thing that I used to have when I was little with my sisters and brother was sandwiches, scones, and a slice of cake. But it's important to make sure that you have enough. Everybody should be allowed at least two or three sandwiches, one scone each, and then at least two slices of cake. That should be enough. Now, of course, you can help Mummy and Daddy make the sandwiches, and you can also add other things. My grandchildren love jelly. I think you call it jello, and they love making jelly for tea, and it really is a very nice thing to have at tea time too. 
Now some other things you might have at your tea party. You want to have napkins, one for each guest to clean their mouths. And you also might want to have a fork so they can have some cake or something like that that you have provided for them. Now, if you want to have a pretend tea party and you don't have real food, then of course you can just pretend to have your fork and use your fingers for your sandwiches. And it's also really important to make the table look really nice. I usually use a tablecloth because it just covers the table and makes it look quite special. The last thing you want to make sure each guest has is a plate and that's so that they can put their sandwiches and their cake or their cookies on their plate and eat off of their plate so the plate can catch all the crumbs that might fall off. Now if it's a birthday tea party then of course you'd have balloons and other decorations to make the house look really really pretty and you don't start until everybody else starts so if you are giving the party once you start then all your friends start. I'd like now to read you something from my new book, The Good Manners Bears. This is the book that our friend Grady Manners wrote. It's called Please Bear's Birthday, and it's all about bears and their good manners. Should we take a look? <gasps> look at all the bears, and they use good manners. Please bear, let's see what else we can see. Thank you, Bear. And Table Manners Bear. Wow. Would you like to hear her read some of her book? Now, I have to put my glasses on because I am a granny, and so my eyesight, unfortunately, isn't quite as good as it used to be. There are happy bears and funny bears, shy bears and sunny bears, messy bears, oh, what a sight, and bears that think they're always right. Bully bears that have no friends, and kind bears that make amends. Pushing, shoving, grumpy bears, not bothering to see who cares. But you and I know bears that say please and thank you every day. And soon all bears are bound to find that life is nicer when you're kind. Now saying please and thank you is really important at all times, but especially if you're having a tea party, as Please Bear says. Please is such a magic word, make certain that it's always heard. Please remember, don't forget, and you will be the best bear yet. Now I know you would never be a greedy bear like this one in the book. Greedy bears take more than they need and then eat it with disgusting speed. Those bears who take and take might find they end up with tummy ache. And the last one I'm going to read is Table Manners Bears. Sit up straight and don't be late. Eat the food that's on your plate. Keep your mouth shut when you chew. That's the proper thing to do. And I know that all of you sit up straight and eat properly. And it's been so lovely to be with you. And I do hope you enjoy having all your tea parties. And one day, I hope to see you in person. Thank you very much, Micah, for inviting me. I've had such a lovely time. Bye-bye. Well, that was fun. I love Granny Manners. And you can get her book and you can also find her on YouTube so you can hear lots more stories from her as well. Thank you everybody for joining Granny Manners and I today for a tea party. Go have fun, throw tea parties, and I cannot wait to see you next time.